hello everyone i think you are familiar with this board if you have seen my previous videos you might have seen i have uploaded a video of diy arduino so this one is a diy arduino board you can make this one also this one is made with a atmega 328p microcontroller and along with some simple components like a 16 megahertz crystal two 22 picofarad capacitors one 10 microfarad capacitor some resistance and some leds so this one is very easy to make but in that video i didn't show you how to boot load our atmega 328p and how to program this board so in this video we are going to cover all that so watch till so watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't did that so first of all this board is ordered from glcpcb.com which is also the sponsor of this video so guys this one is the pcb design which i designed using the fritzing you i have also provided this file in the description you can check that so first of all you have to open this file then click on export a pcb then click export gerber then you have to select a particular folder where you want to export it then compress these files and then just go to jlcpcb.com and click on cut now so first of all you have to upload the file which we get from fritzing then after uploading check the color quantity and other features for your pcb and just click on checkout now you have to log in into your account then after logging into your account just go to cart after going to cart make the payment fill your address and just pay using paypal or credit card or debit card so you are done then after soldering the components this board is ready so first of all we have to bootload it so to bootload the microcontroller we will need an another arduino board actually we are going to program this arduino to work as an isp then we will connect this board with this board using spi pins and this board will be used to bootload this microcontroller actually to do that first of all we have to program this board as an arduino isp so first of all we have to connect this microcontroller using our usb cable and to our computer so let's get to the computer and see how to program this board to work as an arduino isp so first of all guys just go to file then go to examples now you in the 11th number you will find arduino isp now click on arduino isp a new window will pop up now just select arduino genino programmer as arduino isp and just upload this program so we just uploaded a program on the arduino which will make the arduino as an arduino isp or that arduino will have us to bootload another arduino okay so our microcontroller is programmed to work as an isp so now we have to take some jumper wires and see the connection uh, red to the 5 volts and black to the ground so this is done now the rest of the 4 wires will have to go to 
पिन नंबर D10, D11, D12 एंड D13 थर्टीन रिस्पेक्टिवली एज यू कैन सी नाउ द डी टेन वायर विल बी यूज टू रिसेट दिस बोर्ड सो वी हैव टू कनेक्ट द डी टेन वायर विच इज द पर्पल वन टू द रिसेट पिन of the board as you can see i connected this with the reset pin and the 5 volts to the 5 volts and ground to ground so this one is done and now the pin 11 12 and 13 will be connected to pin 11 12 and 13 respectively so the gray wire is pin pin number 11 the white wire is pin number 12 and last but not the least the brown wire is pin number 13 so our schematic is done which is very simple as you can see 5 volts and ground to 5 volts and ground d10 to reset pin number 11 12 13 to pin number 11 12 13 i think you have remembered this now connect the usb again to the computer and upload the program let's see what have we have to do okay after connecting the spi pins just go to tools now change the programmer to arduino as isp this one again go to tools and now click burn bootloader okay so our bootloading is done now just remove all these wires and put our arduino aside now this one will work as a arduino pro mini let me show you an arduino pro mini also as you can see in an arduino pro mini there is only a microcontroller and some capacitors and resistors and this one is also same so as you know we program the arduino pro mini using a ftdi converter board we just hook up the ftdi converter board like this and program our arduino pro mini in the same way we are going to do with this to program our diy arduino we have to use a ftdi programmer just insert the ftdi programmer like this and upload your program using a usb cable over the programmer and now our arduino can be programmed very easily okay guys so let's compare these three boards firstly talk about the arduino pro mini the best thing about this is it is very small and light so for very small projects this one is best and for soldering purposes also and if we talk about the arduino uno board this is something big and can't be used in small projects but for a beginner or a noob this one is the best board because you don't have to need a breadboard or need to solder pins you just have to hook up some jumper wires directly into the pins so this is the plus point for this board and actually uh, our arduino board is same as like this but there are some things missing such as we don't have a reset button in this and also we don't have a power supply do or dc power jack in this but these things can be extended by uh, adding a reset switch and adding a similar 5 volts voltage regulator to it and we will always need an external ftdi board to program the arduino pro mini and our diy arduino board but what is the plus point of this board it is cheaper than this 
Actually, it only consists the main part at Mega 328P. And this, this thing contains too much things which we don't need in any project. Its price is 500. Suppose we need 10 of these. So we will, so the total price will be 5000. But the making price of this board is actually 250, 220 rupees for the Atmega AVR. Actually this one is ordered from Amazon so this one is expensive if we go and buy this from any retailer shop this will cost about 190 to 180 rupees only and uh, taking part of the components 1 rupee for each component and 5 rupee for the crystal so actually after calculating the total value this will finally go to only 250 rupees. 250 Indian rupees so if we have 10 boards this will will cost 2500 plus the price of this board which is 200 rupees only which will total cost about 2700 so basically for using too many Arduino boards, this one is preferred and even we can customize this board according to our own needs and this one is also more efficient than this one because it has more components so more power drainage, this one has less components so less power drainage and even we can shrink it to maximum extent that we can. I actually made the shape like an Arduino board to just so that this can resemble like this and we can use hookup Arduino shields to this actually whatever project you have just take an Atmega 328P a crystal and two capacitors and use this instead of this so this is the better point for this and at last if you order the PCB from glcpcb.com so you can see the PCB quality is tremendously awesome as compared to this and you can customize your PCB with your PCB thicknesses and you can choose any colors you want you can print any names whichever you want and like I printed robocircuino and robocircuits.com so this one is your customized Arduino Uno whatever projects you want you can customize one of your Arduino for your own and don't forget to order the PCBs from glcpcb.com because they are the sponsor of this video as well as they provide the best PCBs in the market which, which I tried with myself and actually I have given away 9 PCBs in the previous videos you can check out that also and wait for next giveaway also in which maybe I will give away many of other PCBs also. So guys at last thank you for watching this video. If you like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos. Okay thank you guys and have a nice day.